So now, now what we'll do is we'll try and look at um, uh, simplifying uh, this general expression to uh, uh, some specific cases. Uh, what we know is that uh, z uh, um, uh, gamma is uh, gamma naught exponent minus kappa x uh, is valid for uh, any potential as long as the electrolyte is z is to z, right. Now, so we know that this expression should um, can be simplified uh, to psi is equal to psi naught exponent minus kappa x of course for the case of low potential right. So, let us look at how do we do that. So, that is the, the Goe Chapman solution okay? and we know that uh, uh, gamma is exponent of z e psi divided by 2 k b t minus 1 divided by exponent of z e psi divided by 2 k b t plus 1 right that is what we, that is a gamma naught that is a gamma right that is what was here right. So, that is that is what is here. Now, if we assume the low potential case so what I can what what one could do is this exponent term I can write as a um, uh, I can neglect the higher order term and I can write exponent of z e psi divided by 2 k b t as z e psi divided by 2 k b t plus 1 and I am going to neglect all the higher order terms. Okay. Similarly, denominator also the same thing I am going to only retain the first two t, uh, uh, first two terms in the uh, exp uh, series expansion of uh, um, uh, uh, exponent of z e psi divided by 2 k b t. So, therefore, um, gamma uh, becomes so I can cancel these two in the denom numerator I have z e psi divided by 2 k b t divided by in the denominator I have z e psi divided by 2 k b t plus 2 because we are taking low potential case okay, because we are taking low potential uh, we had so the low potential case is when z e psi divided by k b t is less than 1 okay and because z e psi divided by k b t is less than 1 and that divided by 2 is going to be even further less than 1 therefore I can neglect this term so denominator essentially will be just 2 therefore gamma becomes z e psi divided by 4 k b t I can do a similar sim simplification also for gamma naught as well which again turns out to be z e psi naught divided by 4 k b t and this this gets cancelled this this gets cancelled and you end up with the expression for the the low potential limit okay therefore the general uh, goe chapman solution um, you know uh, simplifies to the the d bay huckel approximation for the case of um, a low potential so the other um, uh, simplification one can do is uh, that's a special case too uh, this is for large value of x for large value of x at which the potential has fallen to small values regardless of its initial potential. Um, now, we know that potential varies with distance right it, it if you go away from the uh, if this is psi naught is the initial potential and as we go away from the, the charge surface we know that the potential is going to uh, decrease. Now, if we take some distance okay, that is x such that it is very very large that the potential has fallen to a very low value regardless of this initial potential. So, in such a case what I can do is I can simplify gamma as z e psi divided by 4 k b t 
because again I, I can invoke the condition that at a very large separation distance the potential is low I can again only consider the first two terms neglect the higher order terms so therefore gamma becomes z e psi divided by 4 k b t however because ga psi could be larger psi could be any potential therefore I will have to continue to retain gamma naught as it is because I can't invoke the low potential case like we did for the earlier case because now gamma could be uh, gamma naught could be significant or uh, gamma naught uh, uh, psi being could be any value therefore I am going to retain gamma as gamma naught therefore uh, for the case where um, for a very large value of x such that the potential has fallen to a very small value regardless of the initial potential I can uh, simplify the Goethe Chapman theory to be to take the form uh, z e psi divided by 4 k b t that is on the left hand side and the right hand side remains um, the same. Um, if you take uh, uh, the third special case again this is for a, a very large value of x uh, such that the potential has fallen to a low value therefore the simplification that we have done in terms of writing gamma naught as z e psi divided by 4 k b t will still hold and on the right hand side you had gamma naught exponent minus kappa x uh, what you see here is a is a table where gamma naught is uh, tabulated as a function of psi naught that is psi naught in millivolts this is gamma naught if you look up uh, uh, this table it turns out that you know if you look at very large values of psi naught uh, gamma naught essentially is very very close to 1 ok therefore if the the surface potential ok if the initial potential is very very large gamma naught will you can it is approximately equal to 1 ok that is from this table therefore z e psi divided by 4 k b t uh, becomes uh, exponent of minus kappa x itself ok because gamma naught is, is equal to 1 therefore from this I can write psi as 4 k b t divided by z e into exponent of minus kappa x ok so these are the, the three simple uh, you know uh, special cases uh, one could derive from uh, starting with the Goethe Chapman um, theory. Uh, what is uh, plotted um, here is a potential uh, in millivolts and that is the separation distance and if you look at uh, this plot there are four expressions ok there are four uh, uh, lines um, a continuous line a dashed line and dashed and lotted line ok they are essentially for the they are uh, they are essentially different solutions that is the the d b huckel approximation that is the the Goethe Chapman theory and this is for the case where uh, the potential has fallen to a very low value regardless of the initial potential and this is the case where the potential has fallen to a low value regardless of the initial potential and the initial potential being very high ok. So, so if you look at the, the solution uh, that is plotted for specific case uh, psi naught is 77.1 millivolts this is a, a significant potential this is not the low potential because we said that the potential has to be of the order of 25 millivolts for one to consider the potential to be the low low potential case. So, therefore, psi naught is equal to 77.1 is a not a low potential case and kappa uh, is given by this. So, kappa inverse is marked here that is a kappa inverse corresponding to this uh, kappa value and uh, this is uh, the kappa value that you have is for a 0 0.1 molar solution of electrolyte and so, the best expression that one could use uh, to predict 
the variation of potential with separation distance in this particular case is going to be this expression right because because this is the the goe chapman theory which is valid for the symmetric electrolyte one is to one in this case and we know that it is applicable for you know uh, uh, any potential because we are not invoking the the low potential limit case therefore um, this particular line that is this line that i'm uh, tracing now that is the the solution that corresponds to the goe chapman theory but however if you look at the other two line okay that is this line okay as well as this line these are one is for the low potential limit and the other one is for the case where the the potential has fallen to a, a low value regardless of what is the the initial potential we know that these two also do a, a reasonably good job that means uh, both that means that means though the potential is best described by the goe chapman theory that is this expression okay uh, this as well as this still do a, a very good job of predicting what is the the variation of potential with the separation distance however because of the fact that the potential that we have considered is 77.1 millivolts okay that means it is not significantly large to to take gamma naught is equal to 1 uh, as as it is evident 63 the, the expression is equation 68 that is the the case corresponding to the special case for large value of x and large value of initial potential it doesn't do a, a good job of uh, predicting how the potential varies with separation distance therefore depending upon the the situation you you, you should be able to use uh, one of these expressions to find out how the the potential varies with um, uh, separation distance um now that we know um uh, how the potential varies with uh, separation distance we can also look at uh, uh, the variation of the the concentration of uh, co ions and the the counter ions as well from you know uh, in the vicinity of the charge surface so so we know how the potential varies with separation distance but however if we want to know how does the the concentration of in this case you have positively charged surface therefore the negatively charged ions are going to be the counter ions of course, of course i could also have positively charged ions as well in the solution which are going to be co ions and how does their concentration vary with separation distance is also of interest okay so for that what we are going to do is to again start with the the boltzmann factor so we know that ni divided by ni infinity is exponent of minus z e z i e psi divided by kbt and this ni is not a constant right and ni infinity is fixed by the the concentration of the electrolyte in the solution that's a fixed quantity for a given concentration and this is a constant okay this this as well and z i is the the valency of the ions right so once that is fixed uh, so everything is a is a constant here except for psi and and ni varies with separation distance uh, we know that psi also varies with separation distance now because we have derived how does psi you know depend uh, on uh, varies with separation distance we can substitute a relevant expression for psi so if i assume the low potential case i can replace psi to be psi not exponent of minus kappa x therefore now now that i know how psi varies with separation distance i should be able to also calculate what is how does the concentration of the ion varies with separation distance so therefore um, uh, from this approach i can actually calculate what is the concentration of the um, uh, counter ions and what is the concentration of the co ions in this case both of them are scaled with n infinity which is the to concentration of the electrolyte that i have in the solution and how does the concentration of the counter ion um, decreases as you go away from the separation distance and how does the concentration of the co ions um, again varies with separation distance one could calculate from uh, uh, this approach 
um, uh, what would also be interest uh, would be uh, what is called as the distribution of excess ion concentration that will be given by n, n uh, minus minus n plus that is the the difference in the concentration of the the co ions and the counter ions and how does that vary with separation distance one should be able to calculate all of this from the uh, the simple uh, uh, formulations.